Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie from Artists in Schools. Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining in with me today on the locker. Cannot wait to get started. So what we're gonna be doing today is doing an art lesson. Very simple, very easy, but very fun for everyone in your family to join. It's really fun to see what everyone comes up with. So what we're gonna be doing is making some sort of doodles with objects that we can find from around your house. Now this could be in the kitchen, could be something out of your bedroom, could be outside, the bathroom, anything that will basically fit on a piece of paper you can use. So it's just some examples that we can go over really quick before we get started is something like a pair of scissors, okay? Or you can use a Q-tip from your bathroom. You can use a pistachio or some pasta noodles. Sometimes those little cute bow tie noodles are perfect for art lessons. You can make little butterflies out of them. Okay, or you can use like a clothespin, or you can use a piece of yarn, or if you want to, if you have some kind of like soda can, what you guys can do is carefully, with your parents' permission, of course, go ahead and take it off. Just be careful in case it is a little bit sharp, you do not want to get cut. Okay, or you can do something from like outside. You can grab some sticks or some flower petals, even some leaves, okay? So that's just some examples. You could use fruit, you can use silverware utensils, nothing really that you can go wrong with with this one, just be creative, okay? So again, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of minutes to go ahead and find a few items. You are gonna need a piece of paper and some kind of pen or pencil, even a color pencil just to do some simple drawing. And I'm gonna give you guys a couple minutes and I'm gonna flip my camera and we'll get started. All right, everybody, let's get started. So what you're gonna need again is your piece of paper, your items that you randomly found around your house, and some kind of pen or pencil to draw. All right, so I'm gonna grab my first item, start off something really simple, really easy. I'm gonna use my pistachios, okay? Now when I look at my pistachios, I see a tulip flower. Okay, so here's another one. This one's a little bit more open. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just maybe go with the bottom of my paper. I'll go on this side. And I'm gonna start making lines to create a flower, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my leaves at the bottom. Okay, you can make them however you would like to. If there's something else that you have that you found around your house, I'm just showing you some examples. So there's my leaves and my stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my pistachio right on top to represent my flower. Okay, do three of them. So three pistachios and there you go. You have some flowers. All right, so moving on, let's do an alligator out of my clothespin. So look at this, I see an alligator with his mouth opening up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that down. Now, if you wanna use a hot glue gun to hold things in place, make sure you get your parents' permission and some help so you don't get burned. So I'm just gonna hold mine with my finger. So I'm gonna leave mine right there. I'm gonna push down. I'm actually gonna turn, make the mouth go this way. Okay, so this will be my mouth. So what I'm gonna do is at the top, I'm gonna put two sir oval circles for my alligator eyes. Okay, kind of fun. I'm gonna add some feet. Now we don't need to get too carried away and over detailed. Right on top, I'm gonna put my little triangles for the alligator teeth, just like that. And at the end, we can't forget his tail. I'm gonna go ahead and put an alligator tail, maybe a couple of X's just to give a little bit of a design. Okay, let go, and then you have an alligator. Okay, now if you have like bow tie pasta noodles, you can make little butterflies, maybe going around your tulips. Any kind of ideas, honestly, that you guys have, if you have sprinkles or sugar, you can go ahead and maybe use some food coloring in those, make them blue, you can make some water for your alligator to sit on. I mean, there's just so many ideas that you guys can come up with, okay? Now let's do something with my little can from my soda, okay? So when I look at this, you might see something different, but I see a penguin. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that down, okay? Let me actually turn it this way. 
All right, and I'm gonna hold it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the little penguin wings on this side, color them in. Now I'm using a thin point Sharpie, the fine point, just because some of those little details getting in something is a little hard with a thick Sharpie. But again, use whatever works for you. Okay, so I have that. Maybe inside this circle, I'll put the little beak, some little eyes. Then we can't forget his feet. So down here, I'm just gonna put my little penguin legs. Okay, and there I have a tiny little penguin. All right, so again, go ahead and do some of your ideas, save them or take a picture of them. And when I get in the classroom, I could look at them. I really want to see what you guys come up with. There's so many ideas. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to actually use a flower that I got for Mother's Day for my kids. I was drying them out and I saved one for us to use. So I have my flowers here. So I have three, four petals that I wanted to use. This one was a little bit smaller and dried out a little bit more than these. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to make a dress. So right up here, my dress is gonna start. Maybe use some other petals, fan them out. My daughter actually did this one as well. She had fun doing this one. She wanted hers to be a ballerina since she's a dancer. So we're gonna go ahead and make ours into a dancer. But like I said, if you guys just wanna create something else, totally can. You guys can even make like a jar, put your flowers in the jar, that would be cute. Okay, so there's a dress. If you want to just throw some legs down really quick, just a quick little sketch. Okay, not realistic looking, but here's your ballet shoes. Okay, maybe you can make the top of the body. A little dancer. And put some hair on her. Just a quick little sketch. Okay, and then we'll put her arms coming up. Okay, give her a little face. All right, so just something simple like that would even work, okay? Something with a dress, out of rose petals, okay? Um, another fun thing we could do, I might have to move my stuff a little bit, but we can make um, a cake or a cupcake. My daughter actually thought of this idea too when we were doing this together. So she actually used these as candles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up my toothpicks, Q-tips, sorry, and if you have actually real birthday candles at home, you guys can use that too. We're actually out of candles, so we had to use these. All right, so we want the cake to be, I'm just gonna turn my paper a little bit. We want the cake to be a little bit larger just so it fits on here. So I think instead of a cake, we'll do a cupcake. So you can place them down before or after, that's up to you. So down here, I'm just gonna go ahead and make just a quick little sketch. We have some frosting down here. Part of my cupcake, a little cherry on top. Now again, all of these little designs you guys create, you guys can color on your free time or you can paint them with the watercolor paint that we've made. Okay, you can add some sprinkles with some color crayons. Okay, and now you have some candles on your birthday cake. Now if you wanted to add some flames and color them in, absolutely go for it. That'd be probably fun. All right. So this was just a fun, quick, easy art lesson that you guys can do at home with any objects, any supplies, any materials that you have laying around your house. And thank you guys for joining me on the locker today. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.